So the announcement of an NSFW game has been making the rounds known as Massage Freaks. A secret massage that refreshes your body and soul. So which Massage Freaks will be released on August 4th, a new sensation game that massages girls to the rhythm. I like the sound of this already. Now, of course, while this game sounds like it'll be awesome, well... Clown World has shown its ugly head again because the Hellspawn Circus Clowns at Twitter got wind of this information and, well, they're reacting the typical way you'd expect. Oh, check it out! So let's look at the information to this game. This work is a new sensation game that massages according to the rhythm. Let's massage not only the body of the girl who comes to the store, but also the troubles that she has in her heart to improve her liking. If you raise your liking, uh, it will develop into a romantic relationship. You can see one side that you can't see at the store. Also, when the score is higher than a certain score, she rushes into somehow she is very Virakusamoto in TR. It is said that you can enjoy the girls without hail. Now, this also uses the uh, you know touch screen uh, you know mechanic as well, so like you kind of do that. But you know this game, there's nothing wrong with it, right? It's one of those games that basically all you're doing is you know massaging waifus, right? I mean, if you look at the screenshots, I mean they look really nice. I mean you can definitely tell this game is going to be not only a very fun game and one to be excited over, but also the fact that it's going to be very lewd. Oh my, how lewd! <laughs> Of course, when the information of this game is coming out sparked, well, like clockwork, Twitter then started to get offended because, of course, Twitter gets offended over every single last thing, and, well, this started to happen. Please stop selling software that promotes sex crimes. There was news that we would implement a partnership system in-house, but it seems that you are not interested in the dignity and rights of women. It is strange to sell this software even though sexual harm is actually occurring at a massage shop. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Talk about sheer stupidity. I mean, seriously, saying that the software promotes sex crimes how stupid can you be? It's like they want to just throw you in prison because you looked at a waifu, you looted the waifu, and then they're like, Oh, how dare you? You, you committed a crime. <laughs> Look, they're pixels and they're fictional characters at the end of the day. No one's being harmed. I mean, they're fictional characters. They don't have rights. They're not real. <laughs> but it's like these clowns don't get that. Then again, for them to think that this promotes crimes, yeah, they have the IQ of a fucking doorknob. I mean, that's clearly obvious. But this is what they're doing. They're going this far because they can't stand this. Then again, these are people that are never going to buy this in the first place. They don't care. And the rating is 0D, which is an adult rating. It's dumb. It's going to be released a video game where the player is giving massages to overly sexualized young girls on Nintendo Switch. I hope it's R-rated at least. It's disgusting though. Hello everyone, I present you a new game. You will be a masseuse, sex offender, and enjoy sex criminals in this game. Do you enjoy this game? It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> it's completely idiotic. Why can't adults enjoy games that's meant for adults? This is not meant for children. <laughs> this is a game that is meant for adults. But they try to act like, Oh, the sexualization of women, female characters is so wrong. <sighs> like, they, they lose their shit over something that's not even a problem at all. It's absolutely idiotic. You know, one person did respond saying, though, Yep, I'm definitely gonna love it. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. Now, there was this update, though. Uh, Create did come out with a statement, and th this was kind of big, because this is like a worrisome thing. One person translated saying, Thank you very much for using our service. If you have any comments or suggestions about uh, massage freaks, please send them to our website at infocreate.co. Um, we are the only developer who can make adjustments to the content of the game. Please direct your comments and suggestions to us at... Uh, Create Inc. We will examine all of your requests and will consider making any possible adjustments to the working names, etc., to ensure that the game is enjoyable for as many players as possible. So, the representative director, that's worrisome right there because that means that they're hearing what's going on from the negative assholes that are going after them. And because of this, they're like, 
oh, well, maybe the fans actually don't like this, and maybe we got to tone it back. No, you shouldn't tone it back. That's the first thing. Now, there were some positive messages coming from people. One person was like, sent them a message on their website to hopefully let them know that overseas fans like me enjoy their lewd games being as lewd as possible, which, yes, people enjoy it being lewd. The only people who don't care are the ones who never buy the product. You know, they're the bitches with keyboards that throw their cat food cans all over the place because they don't have enough money to buy anything else but expired cat food. Now, this person brought up an excellent point. Feminists are extremely hypocritical, emotional, and with biased opinions. A few years ago, games like these were released and nobody said anything. If you censor your content, you only give them the opportunity to censor you more. Which, Dual Love, which showed off some uh, male characters being... You know, sexualized. Oh, that was fine, right? You know, they don't say anything about a male character being sexualized, but if it's a female character, oh, sexy woman, bad, ah, wee. You know, they freak out over it. I mean, it shows the hypocrisy of these people. You know, they live for that double standard. And thing is, is that Nintendo, we know that they have, you know, had a bad history of censorship in the past, and they've been more consistent of actually not censoring things. Let's hope they don't do anything here, you never know, but with people calling for this game to be banned, and uh, it's stupid. This game deserves to exist, and, you know, I hope that the developers, you know, don't change anything. I hope that this game stays the way it should, you know, as intended, and I hope that, you know, they don't change anything. I hope they keep it the same, because look, I've talked about censorship a shitload of times, and... You know, censorship, in my opinion, is evil. It's something that I don't like. I think it's a terrible thing. And I don't want to see this game get hit by this because of, you know, a few, you know, hobo clowns on Twitter freaking out over nothing, which they're not even going to buy it in the first place. And to say that they want to make this a game that's possible for everyone to enjoy, when you try to make something for everybody to enjoy, you're making something for nobody. <laughs> like, that's the problem. And... God, I really hope these developers, you know, don't change anything. I hope they keep it the same. Hope they listen to the fans. But uh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here. Make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word to get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to follow me on all these platforms of social media. I do leave updates on when the news videos we release as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on all of these forms of social media the links are in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow could always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody